Hello you guys. Hi and welcome. Welcome to a special edition of the Good News Sunday Show. And we today I'm going to read you something that I wrote on Facebook the other day. I wrote it rather quickly and then I de promptly deleted it. And it's in regards to Chronicles Second Chronicles 7:14. And I wrote it in the person in the voice of a black person in probably the year 1800 in this country. We be getting ready for Resurrection Sunday. We be getting ready for Resurrection Sunday 2020. And we be getting ready for Easter Bunny Saturday. And we be getting ready for Good Friday. And we be getting ready for Passover week. And we be getting ready for Monty Thursday. Holy Week is coming. And we be getting our spirits ready for whatever our good and mighty great God has for us. We be dust and ashes. In light of who our great God is, we be dust and ashes. Holy Week is coming. We be humbling ourselves. And we keep turning ourselves from our wicked, lawless ways day after day. Each time wickedness rises up in our person and our spirit, we pray for gentleness and kindness. Submitted and submerged to the every hour laying down of the tables of our fleshly hearts. We be called by his name, peculiar. We be seeking his face in times of tribute, tranquility, tribulations, torment, tests, trials, and trouble. We be seeking his face. We be seeking his face through a continuous, steadfast posture of praise, petitions, and prayers. We dedicate and rededicate our temples in prostrate, kneeling, plus standing positions. Our inner man prays to the very same God King Solomon prayed to in 2 Chronicles 6. He is good. His love endures forever. And like Solomon, our sins, our sins are forgiven. We are blessed in worldly richness and we are blessed in poverty to hear from heaven. And the land of our chosen and consecrated temples are healed. So that his name, his eyes, his heart will forever be in that land. For much good I say thee. In regards to Second Chronicles 7, 14. That particular verse is a reply to King Solomon in regards to Solomon's dedication of the temple. That verse is a direct reply to the prayer of Solomon in 2 Chronicles 6. If we want to pray, then we would look more diligently at 2 Chronicles 6 in light of what God says back to Solomon in 2 Chronicles 7.14. Because you see, this response from our Lord God Almighty is in regards to the dedication and the kneeling and the prayer of King Solomon in 2 Chronicles 6. We need to stop cherry-picking Bible verses. And this is the one that is traditionally cherry-picked by us, for us, to save us from ourselves. So, what we need to do, what we need to do is to rededicate or dedicate the temple that we have control of. The temple that the Lord God Almighty has blessed us with. And we might do well to study 2 Chronicles 6 to find out about Solomon's service 
and dedication and building of this particular temple. Y'all, we still have time. We still have time to dig into the Word of God and align our lives with His will, His way, His wonder, His wisdom, His work, and His worship. We still have time. And now would be a very good time to rededicate our temples in like fashion of Solomon in the book of Second Chronicles. And like I always say, and I've said it already today, is that we still have time. So, this is Sonia signing out for the Good News Sunday Show. Have a great day. Thank you.